All right, uh, we have a legal practitioner right now, Elvis Asia, joining us to talk more about uh, what's going on in Edo State. Good evening to you, Barista Asia. Thanks for joining us on the news and Plus TV Africa. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Barista Asia, can you hear us? Marisa, can you hear Justin. Yeah, good evening. All right. Uh, in recent developments, the deputy governor of the state, uh, like you just watched, uh, just apologized to the governor. Uh, did it come to you as a surprise, or how can you just uh, you know, analyze all that's going on in Edo State? Well, um, it's not surprising. Uh, I don't really see at the way forward for the, for the deputy governor. Uh, if, you, if you have watched political development in the states over the last uh, couple of years, you would have seen uh, what appeared to have been a very great synergy between the two of them. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people, including myself, we are quite shocked that, um, you know, the field between them degenerated to this level. But one thing with politics, that, like I understand it, is that once uh, the breach of trust, once the other party feels that there's no longer trust uh, between them, it's always difficult to uh, come together um, and, and work together like the, the deputy government suggested. Uh, you will recall that uh, some time ago, he filed an act on the court uh, seeking to uh, preempt what appeared what he claimed to have been an attempt to impeach him. But the governor had said that, you know, there was nothing like that. And if you have watched what, was, what has been happening in the do state, you will see that you know uh, the deputy governor is perhaps the most popular deputy governor in the country, and perhaps the most involved deputy governor in the country. He's been very involved in you know what has been happening. But unfortunately, what has happened, what we've seen as politics, um, it is not unconnected with his ambition, the deputy governor's ambition to succeed his boss, and it will appear that the, the, his boss is not uh, supporting that move. To appear that the boss has other intentions in terms of uh, who succession should be, and that appears to be uh, what is happening between them. And uh, because of the way Amana has treated uh, the deputy governor over the years, uh, obviously he became a little bit powerful. He became uh, and he, he felt he could do a lot of things. For example, uh, you know there were situations that when the uh, House of Assembly was being inaugurated, he was trying to. Uh, get a different set of leaders as against what the governor wanted. And you know what that meant. Um, so, you, you know, if you know the governor, uh, he's a very determined person. If he feels that he wants something done, um, he, the, the, you know, history has shown in the last uh, years of being governor that he, you know, he will always find a way. And so that's what is happening right now. He's trying to uh, protect himself. He's trying to render the deputy governor politically relevant to the, the scheme of things. But, you know, in all of this, as a, as a legal practitioner, I, I would say that we still have to comply with the laws of the land, you know, in play of um, we You know, the, the, the scenario we saw at that time when he's been prevented from going to the office, DIA being harassed, all of this, um, you know, um, too much show of power that shouldn't be in a democratic setting. As much as I believe that the governor is genuinely um, has a genuine reason to be angry with the deputy governor. Uh, whatever anger you have has to be within the democratic parameters. It has to be shown within the limits of the country. And so, um, you know, I'm not speaking for either of them. I'm just looking at the issues as I see them. And I feel that the governor should toe the line of uh, democratic, uh, uphold democratic tenets in his deep uh, with the deputy governor. And I also believe that whoever has an ambition to um, you know, pursue it within the limits of the political structure that is available to him. You cannot uh, want to assign your master and uh, expect that your master will, will, will support you. I think that's really what is played out in those state. Okay, so what does it really um, behoove now for the People's Democratic Party, judging by the fact that um, uh, it's just one year they have to the end of the administration? Don't you think it would actually affect... Um, maybe the, the chances of um, the party in uh, maybe forthcoming elections in the state in the future? You are right. I mean, the people, the, the PDP is already seriously challenged in the state. Uh, if you look at the last election, the Labour Party came from nowhere to you know, almost become the dominant party within the state. Uh, probably to the intervention of uh, other forces outside of uh, you know, real uh, practical democracy to stop. 
Um, you know, the PDP has lost a lot of uh, you know, political value in the states. I, I don't want to speculate on what uh, is responsible for that. Many people believe that the, the relationship between, between uh, the deputy governor and um, the governor is quite, uh, uh, you know, uh, to some extent responsible for what has, what, what, what has played out because uh, the PDP as a condition for uh, giving uh, Obaseki the ticket wanted to have their own person as the deputy governor. They wanted uh, Oshayabu to be out of the way. Oh. Uh, but unfortunately, the uh, government you know, um, was very loyal to the deputy governor, to me to say. he insisted on uh, going ahead with him, and that created a lot of cracks within the PDP. And up to now, the party hasn't recovered from that. And, uh, you know, it's, this the move by the government is also seen as a way of placating uh, members of the, the rank and file of the PDP to see how he can galvanize the party towards uh, installing, in quote, the successor uh, next year. But, you know, the, 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 the chances are seriously dented by the ongoing feud between the, the, the right. parties. And then the rise of the Liberal Party, oh. as well as, of course, the uh, firepower of the APC, considering the caliber of persons are also, um, you know, uh, the environment party, uh, talking about Comrades of Shomola in the Edo North. I think all this uh, would play a very major role in uh, affecting the all chances right. of the party. But the way I'm gonna, the government is able to navigate through these political waters will tell um, about what will happen in, in the next election. All right, thank you so much. We have been speaking with um, legal practitioner uh, Elvis uh, Asia on the development in um, Edo State, uh, specifically regarding the uh, well, I say leadership tussle between the deputy governor and, of course, his principal. Many thanks for being a part of the news tonight. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.